Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Janessa Zabani, CEO of Lush Lifestyle Luxury Hair. Follow us on Instagram at lushlifestyle.co and also shop in the link below. We do provide 100% human hair, grade 10A luxury bundles. Not only that, I do have a variety of hair accessories such as hair pins, hot combs, and multi-purpose hair wraps. You can use them as tops or tie them on your bag or anything. So today I'll be making a 613 frontal wig. And here's the frontal. It is provided from us from Lush Lifestyle Luxury Hair. And the hair is super soft, there's no shedding or anything. And we're also using bundles 22, 24, and 26. And I'm just showing you guys like literally no shedding, it's super soft. And here are the other two bundles. Um, it's not necessarily a tutorial. I just want to show you guys the process of me making the wig and coloring it. I'm going for like a purple ombre look, but I definitely found a name for her and it's going to be Wakisha. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will try to provide content for you guys every week. Bye. Alright, so first we're laying the frontal down on the dome cap. And I'm using T-pins and I pin one down at the very top in the middle just to keep it where I want it. Because you want to make sure that the front of the lace is over the dome cap, as you can see right there. You don't want it to be aligned with it, you want it to go over it. So when you cut it out, it will be all perfect. <laughs> so I'm using the T-pins and I'm pinning it down on each side of the frontal as well. So we can keep it in place and also make sure that it's flat when you start sewing it down. So let's get into it. Alright, so I just want to thank you guys for actually watching my first YouTube video. Um, it's, it was hard for me because it's hard to multitask and also trying to get the work done. You feel me? So like... <laughs> Um, and please excuse my resting face. I know I look like a B-I-T-C-H, but yeah, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> but I'm super duper grateful for you guys watching my YouTube video. Um, this was like, I felt like this was like the next step in my growth in my business because, um, the whole purpose of this was to get gain more exposure for my business and also push myself out of my comfort zone because it's not something I would normally do. But I'm here doing it for you guys and I love y'all so much. Like I really love my supporters and I'm so grateful for you guys, for real. Shout out to all my Lush babes that's been supporting me since day one. Um, I've been, my hairline has been up for about two years and we're gradually going to the top, but just wait till we're number one, baby. It was probably about like three years ago and I made myself like my very first wig and I was just really impressed on how well I did it. And then I made it into a hobby because I've always had a passion for hair. I used to dye my hair all types of different colors. So my very first custom unit that I made was like this unicorn. It was like a whole bunch of pastel colors and it looked like a unicorn threw up on it. But it was cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was cute. So after the first unit turned out okay, and <laughs> I decided to research it more and more into the hair business. And I just fell in love with it because not only do I love having long hair, but I also love changing my hair all the time. Like, as soon as I get long hair, I cut it short. And I'm never worried about it because my hair goes by quick. But I would have to cut it because my hair would be damaged from all the bleach processing. And I always do a whole bunch of different colors. 
all right so the front toe is sewed down and it's secured and now i have the 26 inch bundle i don't pin the bundle from ear to ear and just start sewing i usually stop in the middle because um the tracks can always move in or lift up higher than where you want it to be and then and then it just won't look neat or anything you won't be happy with it once you get to the top because you'll run out of space so to continue what i was talking about the start of my business um i just always had a passion for hair i never got bored of doing it i never got tired i actually enjoy making wigs like it it puts me in a very peaceful meditative state it just feels good when you let your creative juices flow and you're expressing your creativity and creating creating is beautiful and creating something to make someone else feel beautiful makes you feel beautiful <laughs> I have been repping my business because not only that it's a business, but it's a lifestyle. Like you're living a lush lifestyle. The whole definition of lush lifestyle is a very rich and abundant way of living and also a luxuriant way in which a person or groups live. <laughs> so when you put on my wig units or the bundles in your hair i just want you guys to know that you guys are a part of the lush lifestyle and you could define lush lifestyle in your own words really it's just living in a very rich and abundant way of life so as you are watching me finish up this wig unit i want you to think about your life like what makes your life the lush lifestyle what are you grateful for what do you love about your life? What makes your life abundant and rich? Like I said, you could define your own lush lifestyle. All right, so I'm just gonna let the video continue until we get closer to the top part. now we are moving on to 24 inch and i didn't get to record the sewing part of the 24 inch but now we're at the last which is a 22 inch and this is the last bundle and we're actually to the top and yes i did change my shirt because like i said i did come back home from work to continue recording and working on this wig
When you're using a flip over method, please make sure that it is flat. There are times where I've done it and it just made a big lump and it just did not look right. So just please make sure everything is flat. So now that I got like a perfect U shape at the top of what's left, that's when I start using the rest of the bundles and actually go straight across. So, as you can see that I did cut the bundle once it reached to that end point. And then you keep doing that when you continue to stack it on top. Um, mind you, this is the last bundle. So, I'm doing it one more time with two whiffs. And then I believe like the next part, I took the two whiffs apart and just did one which is also recommended because it also creates the flat look. You don't want it to be big and bulky at the top and in, in the back. And when I did split apart the two whips, I aligned it together and at the top just to make sure that it does cover up the top before you actually start sewing it. Because you don't want to sew it down and you realize there's a problem, you got no more hair. And when I sewed that last piece of bundle at the top, I used the thread, go through the width and the frontal, the very edge of the frontal, just to secure everything together, you know? It's such a good feeling once you get to the end of the unit because it's just like a whole masterpiece. I just created a whole masterpiece and it is so cute. And this is the final look of the blonde wig. And now I'm using Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo and I'm just dipping it in there because I want to get rid of all the yellow tones in the um, 613 here. I feel like it's always mandatory to use the purple shampoo on a 613 because I don't prefer that yellow tone in the blonde hair. But it's up to you guys' preference, of course. So I'm going to start out with a pink base before I put the purple on. So I'm using a door hair color, soft lavender and pink petals. And I'm only using a couple drops because I want it to be as light as possible. But you do see me dipping it a couple times because it didn't really take the hair dye um, the first couple dips and then water. Also, I've noticed that some people actually use Vaseline or coconut oil or got to be freeze spray on the frontals before they start coloring the hair and to be honest I've never done that and I've never had a problem with my frontals um not to toot my own horn here but my frontals are great quality and 
every time I've colored it, I've never stained it at all. So, I mean, it's up to you guys. If you guys want to be safe, then definitely go ahead and do that before you start coloring. So now I have a door color lavender and I used the whole bottle and mixed it up in the water. And then I also felt like the wig was too pink so I dipped the whole entire wig in it. So you will still see shades of pink in it also mixed with the lavender which looks really cute with it. And I actually use two bottles of the Door Lavender color. So if you do plan on recreating this look, you will need two bottles for this look. And then I also had Kiss Vivid Violet. And I already mixed it, so I just did a couple more drops before I showed y'all. And I'm just dipping the ends. Just keep dipping and then you'll see it take the color in. But you'll keep dipping until you're satisfied with it. So I just felt like it wasn't dark enough. So I kept dipping and dipping. And now I have a door color violet gem. Um, it was a slight different from the kiss color, which was also violet. So I just dipped it some more. I really wanted the ends to be like a dark, vivid purple. we have the final color which i'm super happy that my vision came into reality with this like it's so pretty i love it i wanted to wait for myself honestly <laughs> but clients i love y'all and i really love everybody that um lets me put my creativity into play like i love bringing it into reality and having satisfied customers show you guys lush lifestyle very own hot combs they will be on the site for sale very soon so stay tuned yes ma'am yes ma'am what did i do understood the assignment <laughs> i hope you guys love it i would really appreciate if you guys like this video and share it to your friends and also subscribe to our youtube and this is the final look this is my client and also my personal hairstylist that installed it for her. I will be tagging their Instagram at the bottom as well. Big shout out to Robin, the birthday girl, for trusting in me and putting this vision into reality on this custom wig unit. <laughs>